Hi, I'm Kaipo Sarkissian. I'm a winchman for McCabe, Hamilton and Rennie. Uh, the reason why I want to fight is uh, I was, want to test myself on behalf of the brothers here in Hawaii. I want to say, Janelle, I love you. Thank you for dealing with me the last seven months. I know it ain't getting easy. We have our one-year-old and she's seven months pregnant now, so almost done, babe. Jeff Leto, uh, Ports of Wilford, uh, Strato Operator. I just wanted to fight just to, you know, get in there and have a crack and um, have a go. Experience um, getting in the ring by myself and getting into having a fight. Yeah. I'll be like, uh, not only will I be fighting for my family and friends, but I'll be keeping my brother my, um, in mind um, that I lost back in 2019. So, uh, yeah. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Keep oh. your hands inside of the riot at all times. <laughs> It's gonna, it's gonna get on here, Kaipo. Some big fellas. Kaipo in the black. Nice head movement by Kaipo. Jeff Letoa in the white from the ports of um, Auckland, like I said, representing the Munza, the Maritime New, um, Union of New Zealand. As the boys open up here, try and feel things out. For someone uh, boxing good. for the first time, I can see him trying to parry punches and spin and get around his opponent. I like Set his jab. Up. I like his jab. Oh, Jeff. A, just, just missed there, Jeff, with the, with the right hand. There's a. Uh, Kaipo tries to hit him with the overhand right. Jeff coming forward with the jab. Keeping those feet moving for the big fella. Uh, might be a, it's not the fire alarm, is I, it? Yeah, I think somebody, you know. I think it was someone set off the fire alarm. Could have been that last fight we had there between yeah. Sean Murphy and Taylor Cleveland. Yeah, it was smoking down here, no? It was smoking down there. As the boys look to try and get a bit of room from each other. Getting tied up a little bit. Jeffro just sticks that jab out. Still feeling each other at the moment, I think, the boys. Yep. Kripal's been down the waterfront about 10 years now, and he's a, a winchman or a crane operator from McCabe, Hamilton, and Rennie. Okay. He's a great worker, great mm -hmm. worker. And his opponent's been a member of the union for just over two years at Port of Auckland. Two big heavyweights going at it here. There's a nice little Kripo jab Kripal lands there. a little jab and snaps the, the head back at Jeff. Um, looks like he's trying to use the hoist there. The left hook um, to the body. Kaipo. One's wearing a headgear and one isn't. And we said earlier in the contest or the, the boxing event that you've got the option to wear the headgear or not. Nice little left there. The, the big boys are still just sizing each other out here. Some heavy breathing going down here in round number one as Kaipo sticks that left hand out. The boys Good. touch gloves. That's round number one in the books. Fight three. Yep. Yeah, fight three. We're having a great time here. The fights are great. Yeah, Kaipo got a nice little jab in right yeah. at the death there, right as the bell went. He yeah. certainly did. Uh, I might yeah. do a quick shout out to one of the founders of War on the Wharves. Couldn't be here at the moment. Jules Parry, along with Kane Hay, who come over for uh, made the voyage over here to Hawaii, the 10 or 12 hour flight. But um, Jules, shout out to you, mate. Um, look what you've created here. You should be proud of yourself. Sure. Yeah, certainly. Uh, yeah, shout out to you, Jules. And he's actually fought in a couple of these events as well. Yep, I remember distinctly him getting knocked out from a bloke from Patrick's <laughs> on the night. Um, I think but, it was Usher's mate. He's been in Robbo. But, Robo. but yeah. you, you know what? He was. He, he started the fight really well, but just landed into a big right hand, and it was good night, Loretta, for Jules Perry on on that occasion. But did it stop him have, having a beer after it? No, no. He, he, <laughs> he, was, he was the last boat with a beer in his hand two days later. That's how Jules parties here. He'll do anything for the kids and. Uh, round number one in the books, boys. Yep. I'm not sure who you're leaning towards. I don't think there's much in it. Um, let's see who can get themselves yeah. out on top. Round two, Kaipo has removed the headgear. Probably was bothering him, falling in his eyes and stuff. So, yep. oh, we've got a different look at Kaipo here now. He's he cuts a forlorn figure there. He's a he's a he's a mean looking boy, Kaipo nice Sarkissian. As he looks to chop down the tall timber. As he doubles of Jeff up, good body movement. Letoa. Oh, Jeff's oh, missed with the big right. uppercut. Jeff's still standing there. A little overhand right attempt by Sarkisian. Oh, stuck the jab, jab. out nicely there. Um, Kaipo. Long left looping hook. He's still got his hands up, which is a good sign in boxing. One one Tried punch. that overhand yeah. right. I'm sure his corner there will be yelling, keep your hands up. You know, these 16 ounce gloves feel like, uh, you know, a ton after a while, right? <laughs> yeah, they would. Oh, yeah. Oh, there was a little dip and then an overhead right overhead there right. from Capo. 
trying to come up and use a lot of those uh, those powerful hits that he's got there from being a, a linebacker there, Kaipo. I tell you, he's, he's got to keep moving his legs here, Jeff. He's just just keeping them uh, underneath him at the moment. Keep moving and stick that jab out. I think both both of them. Is this their first fight? Both of them. Both first fights. Yeah. Wow, yeah. It's a lot of water matchup. It's a great yeah. matchup like this, and it's great to see how far they've come in the short time that they've had to prepare. You gotta love it. It's not easy for the heavyweights to do all this training. Well, there's a right hand oh, a nice right. Jeff. Not sure if he hurt um, Kaipo there. Uh, a couple Kaipo. of body punches there from Kaipo. Body punch. A little, little low shot there by Kaipo. Sarkisian, the line back out of Tulsa. As they look to finish through the nice little exchange there. Yeah. Went to the body at Great the end there, Kaipo. Yeah. I think he uh, might have found a bit of an in there going through the body. I think it's... Uh, yeah. Put Jeff back a little bit at the Certainly end. Certainly takes the wind out of you when yeah, you get no. hit down below. That, that's the worst way to get knocked out. When we were kids, we used to, you know, fool around in a gym, and I got knocked out by a body shot. I thought I was going to see Jesus that <laughs> night. <laughs> and that's uh, Del Beasley representing the Hawaiian Longshoremen. Grant Chapel here from the Sydney MUA. Darren Brown, MUA Sydney as well. And from the Sydney branch, Nathan Donata. Nathan, uh, great support from you guys for this event. Yeah, great delegation come over, not only from the MUA, uh, Daz, but also from Munns, you know. It's, as I said, back in 2014, Munns come and fought over in New, uh, in Sydney for the first time. Then in 2017, we, we went to uh, New Zealand to support their, uh, their charity for, for the kids. Great. Uh, it's great, mate. Great support from all the MUAs from all around the world, and especially the Hawaiian longshoremen, for putting on this wonderful event here in Waikiki, Hawaii. Um, it's just unbelievable. It's like a world title fight, the atmosphere here. It's a full house yes. as we get underway in the round three of the heavyweight competition. Yeah, you got fight number three here between Kaipo Sarkisian in the black and Jeff Letoa from Ports of Auckland in the white as the boys look to bang it out here. Uh, a big haymaker there from Jeffro, right hand that didn't land. Overhand right from uh, Kaipo. Looks like he just touched the side of the face there of uh, the big fella from Auckland. Little low left hand blow. Digs the body. Yeah, he, he's trying to work right the body. A nice jab there. Snaps the head back at Jeff. Latoa. Latoa's looking to put some bombs in here. Oh, flurry of flurry. punches. A little flurry on the inside, going to the body. Sarkeesian oh. going on top. He's got to keep a little looping left. left hand. Oh, the big, big right uppercut. Hand. Jeff. The boys are both looking for that big punch. There you go. Another one just glances off the side of the head. She's a tough boy, this uh, Kaipo Sarkisian. He's, he's copped a few shots and he keeps standing there in the middle of the ring. I tell you what, we don't question the heart of the of the, of the, of the combatants here. Oh, oh a little backhand oh, no. there. Oh. Yeah, body oh, shot credit there credit to Kuiper. both of those boxers. They're out on their feet and they're still throwing punches here in the last round. Here we go. The heavyweight. That's a crowd. Get right into this competition. There's Jeff Rose going forward, see if he can land that killer blow. Oh, what a nice right hand by Kaipo Sarkisian. Keeps coming forward, but Jeff. They've got no energy to throw any punches, these two. It's been a great effort from both of them. Great effort. you got to love it. As they try to remember what, what they've they got. There, there goes go. the 10 second 10 bell. Second 10 bell. seconds. Give it everything you've got now, boys. Keep coming. Keep a flurry. Oh, the nice yeah. flurry at the end. Yeah, the big boys. Big oh, round of applause for these two. The crowd's, is, the crowd's on their feet. Uh, yeah, Del. they're on their feet. Oh, what a great yeah. effort that was. Wow. As we wait for Chris Stiles and the crew to get into the ring. And we'd like to thank Nathan Donato from the Sydney branch, MUA, for Nathan, joining us you. here. Thank you so much. Mate, we appreciate all your work you're doing uh, for this event. And uh, go and enjoy the rest of the night, mate. Thanks, boys. Have a great call. Enjoy your night. And, Thank uh, you. I'll catch up with all of you for a beer later. Yeah, I'll you start know, now, yeah, you, and I'll catch up with yeah. you later. <laughs> He's a very good, good, mate. Very good, boys, very good dancer, Nathan Dodano. We, <laughs> we had him out of the, uh, one of the thanks, boys, pubs and clubs the other night. Good on you, Nathan. A shout-out to his brother, Shannon Dodano. Yo, give it up a for both of these warriors, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. with the South Sydney Rabbitohs back in Australia. Pushing As forward to the very end of the fight. What amazing hearts. And here to present the medals. Uh, 
Angelo. Hey, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, from War on the Wars, Australia, give it up for Angelo Daima. As Angelo Dimmick has been called up to the stage, she's done a great job. W for uh, hosting this event. It's just uh, emulated what we're trying to achieve in Australia through the uh, MUNS and uh, the MUA. So it's great to have the Brotherhood all together to raise money for charity. Thank you very much. Yeah, well done, Angelo. He's done a great job. Yeah. Ladies and stylish. gentlemen, He's Angelo well too, Daima. <laughs> very, very stylish. Yeah, very, very stylish. And one last time, let's hear it for Kaipo and Jeff. Looks like he went to the Gap to go get some clothes, huh? <laughs> he doesn't look as, as fly as we do, though. We look uh, great. Nah, he's, <laughs> he's no blue pineapple. Let's put it that way.